What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYDCSP. What do you do as a central style processor? Guys, I want to show you my new toy in the works, guys. So I'm not really too experienced on using this type of demagnetizer, but I'm going to do my best because honestly, it is a little difficult to use this type opposed to others. But I'm going to read the IFU that I got on this package, and it's probably not gonna be the same as the IFU that you would get out of a medical demagnetizer, but I'm curious to see if it will work that way, but stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so here's my new little toy, a little demagnetizer that I purchased on Amazon for a couple bucks, um, but I'm used to using the flat demagnetizers, and honestly, I'm gonna keep it real, I haven't used it much in my career because I've never come across magnetized instruments now this one here um, i'm going to read this ifu and i showed you this little package here but check out the instructions here so the instructions for this is <clears throat> the parts to be demagnetized should be put either in a small cardboard box to be fastened to a movement holder or if large enough they may be held in the hand Hold the parts just in the opening of the demagnetizer with the equipment switched off. Hold, uh, switch the current by pressing the switch button and slowly withdraw the parts to a distance of about one yard at a speed of about one foot and three seconds. So we're moving one yard, which is three feet, right? So nine seconds. Finally, switch off by relaxing the switch button. Check the results by a sensitive compass. Repeat operation if necessary. All right. So I, I've never understood that um, one yard um, of a distance of about one yard. So I'm talking, you're talking one yard. That's three feet. That's the length of my arm. So how do you, what do you do? You, you start from here and then work your way this way or you go here and go this way. I'm not sure. Now, you notice I can't pass this instrument all the way through. So I'm gonna attempt to demagnetize just a tip because if you see, that's exactly what's magnetized is this tip. I don't think the actual, oh, the actual back is a little magnetized too. Oh, I didn't think I magnetized the whole instrument, but let's give this a try. So. The way you do it is you put your instrument in so you don't want to touch any of the surfaces because if you touch the magnetizer, you actually magnetize the instrument. You hold it in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the instrument um, this way with the tip of my finger here. And then I'm going to hold this button and it's going to hum. And I'm going to move this without touching the side. Now I know the ones that I've used in the medical field are actually a lot more powerful than this. And I can tell you right now that the IFUs of this item tells you that it has a one minute demagnetizing time. After that, the instrument actually, the actual device heats up and shuts down. So if I did this correctly, this item should be demagnetized now. So let's check. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. So I have a demagnetized, oh, except for the handle. But I didn't get the handle all the way through. So I might have to pass this through in there again. Actually, the handle ain't that bad either. Eh, it's a little magnetized. So I would probably have to open this instrument up like this and pass it through. Let's give that a try, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it on this end here. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. And I'm gonna pass this instrument all the way through the magnetizer. Sorry, my big arm is in the way there. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm going to go backwards with it. And like I said, the ones I've used in facilities have a lot more pull. 
So it's a lot stronger and it'll wind up snatching that instrument right up. All right, so let's see. Now my instrument isn't magnetized there. My instrument shouldn't be magnetized there. Uh, see that side there? That's probably the side that I was touching with my finger. So it got magnetized there. But more importantly is the tip isn't magnetized. So needle drivers are the ones that we definitely want to demagnetize. Um, and which side was demag was magnetized? That side there. So like I said, it doesn't take long to demagnetize it. So you want to go ahead and go through. And again, you don't want to touch none of the actual plastic because it will. There you go. It's demagnetized. If you touch the plastic on this, and I'm going to show you guys, if you touch now, this is still cool to the touch. Now you see that it's demagnetized. Now, if I was to touch the actual plastic while this is on, I actually magnetize the instrument. Now watch, see that? So it's important that if you're demagnetizing an instrument, is that you do not touch the actual plastic. And there you go, demagnetized all the way through. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, that's it. If you guys have one of these in your facility, that's how you use it. You wanna make sure that your item goes right through the center, okay, of the item at a nice slow pace. Again, I'm not sure what that one foot, uh, one yard at a distance of about one yard, at a speed about one foot in three seconds. I mean, I, again, this ain't even a foot of an instrument. So are you starting from back here? You just want to go nice and slow, whatever that speed is. Make sure you get the entirety. If your instrument can't go through with the bunny ears, you want to open it up and follow it through. I'm curious to know. I wish there was like a regular, like a regular on switch rather than a press button. But um, I know the big table, the flat top ones, those are a turn on one. Um, but the important thing is that you do not touch the actual plastic and you run it through and you come through nice and slow. That'll be the best way to do it. Make sure it doesn't touch the ends and come all the way through with it. Come back the other end and that's it. You got a demagnetized instrument with no issues. All right, guys. Um, again, I, paid, I, I got this from Amazon. It was nice and cheap um, and obviously it does its job. So thank you for watching, guys. As always, stay true to yourselves. Keep them 100. Peace.